Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I've returned to London Gatwick Airport to go and stay in a hotel. You guys said I should go to one of these hotels and check them out. And I know that there's one here at Gatwick and I'm doing a very late flight. In fact, I think the time's just gone quarter to four in the morning. And what's great about these hotels is that you can actually book in at a time that suits you to go and basically have a nap or maybe a little bit longer. I'm on a budget, so I've decided to go for the cheapest room, which is a little bit more like a capsule hotel. I think they might even be smaller than the easy hotels. This will be interesting. It's in the South Terminal. Let's go. I actually booked my room for, I think it was 1am, and I've got here very late, so hopefully it'll still be available. I've got it until 10am. That's the block hotel that I've stayed in before, and the Yotel is literally just around this corner. Quarter four in the morning. Look how busy Costa is. So we go down. <coughs> down to the hotel. Is it in the basement? Hello, check it in please. What is your name? Tim. Mission Control. It's more like a spaceship. Thank you. The colours are very premier in, aren't they? Wow, look, so there's rooms that go up and that rooms that go down. The configurations of the room are like one up, one down, one up, one down. It feels like I'm on a spaceship. Here's my room, or cabin, as it says on the key card. I've got to go down here, down a step. I need light. Well, that's a little bit better. So this room is very small. In fact, it's so small that I can probably stretch my arms out like that and almost touch the sides. What should we check out first? I think we check out the bathroom because the bathroom's that way and the bedroom's that way. Now it must have been about 12 years ago when I stayed in a hotel here at Gatwick and uh, it is very similar to what I can remember. So they are quite old now. Now the door I came into is crazy. It is like literally being on a spaceship. That glass is super thick. Pull the blinds down. I mean, there's no outside light anyway, but it's gonna be uh, for privacy. I've got a little seat here. There's not really many places for you to put the seat, but I guess here will do, and I can sit back and relax. Can two people get in that bed? Maybe have a bottle of complimentary water. By the way, you can get cappuccinos, lattes. They're all free as well. However, I'm gonna go straight to bed, so I don't really need that. So let's check out the bathroom, it is very narrow. I have a sink. Not drinking water though. And then on the other end, I've got the shower. I think these have been updated in the uh, last few years. It does feel very like a spaceship. I do get some shampoo and some body wash. Obviously it's gonna feel a little bit clinical. And I close the bathroom door like that, so I protect the bed. I've got a towel up here, some loo roll, and look at the flush from the toilet. That's pretty high. Not quite sure what that is. Huge, big mirror. Of course, it's important to have them. Makes the rooms feel bigger. Every so often, there's a weird noise. I heard it again. Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? So it come from here? I don't know if the mic picks that up. I have to boost the sound, but that's spooky. That's weird. Out of the bathroom. Is this a table? In my bag. Yes, I've got myself a little table. Workstation, plug sockets, USB charging, big mirror, and two 
lonely hangers. I've got an extra pillow up here. How do I put this back? Oops, <laughs> like that. Food and drink menu up here. I can actually order individual breakfast items like an apple for a pound, a fruit yogurt for one pound 25, paninis, hot meals ready in 15 minutes. So literally all I need to do is contact, as it says up there, mission control. They also do skincare. So my bedroom for the night, the bed. Little area here to put my phone. The remote is because it actually has a TV just there. This feels actually really dirty, to be honest, and there's loads of crumbs in there. It's quite stained. Well, getting into it is relatively easy. It's quite a big bed. I mean, my feet don't touch the wall. It feels very comfy. It's almost like I need like a little shutter there. It would probably make me feel a little bit more cozy. All this leather is nice. Reminds me of a Premier Inn and the leather all around the entrance into the bed. All the padding feels like you're in some kind of um, hospital, maybe. But I kind of like it. There's padding there, there's padding there, and there's padding here. So it's all nice and soft as you get into the bed. And uh, well, hopefully I won't roll out. I guess I'll have to put my water and phone just there or up there. Or there's no plugs here. They're all in there. But these rooms are very soundproofed. I mean, I'm not going to shout, but I think if you did raise your voice a little bit, no one else would hear you. Even the air conditioning is very quiet. In fact, is there air conditioning in here? I didn't see a... Can't see anything for the temperature. Although it is nice and cool. It's a weird feeling being in these rooms. These are the cheapest rooms here at London Gatwick. It messes with your mind because even though for me, um, of filming this it's four in the morning you don't really know what time of the day it is I guess it always feels like night and which is good because if you have just like a layover or a couple of hours you want to get some shut eye it's perfect for it right so I'm gonna get a couple of hours sleep I'll see you in the morning I'll tell you how it goes I think I've had about four hours sleep I didn't expect the bed to be this comfy now the bed was comfy but i was actually quite cold and there is nowhere that i can see where i can actually adjust the temperature which is really odd now there's no tea and coffee facilities in the room which means i can go to reception to get a free one so that's exactly what i'm going to go and do see these ones are slightly higher than the lower ones beds are lower. I think I prefer the beds that are a bit higher. Hello, can I get tea please? Yeah, uh, which one would you like? Um, English breakfast tea. Mm -hmm. oh, with milk? With milk please, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's better. Now this particular style of room won't be to everybody's tastes, but if you want a quick sleepover here at London Gatwick, this is probably one of your best bets. It's fairly cheap as well. This cost me 85 pound for just over six hours. Like I said, they would give me an hour complimentary. I was a little surprised that you can't control the air conditioning, so you can't control the temperature, because actually I was fairly cold in there, but really great night's sleep. Well, a few hours anyway. The only other issue I had in here was that the shower took ages to heat up. And when I went to reception, when I got my tea, I did ask and they said it was because my room was right at the end. If I was to come back here, I would much prefer to stay a little bit higher up than so low down. Not that it really makes much of a difference. The leather here, there's all crumbs right in the corners, which doesn't obviously make it feel very clean. And it also feels a little bit sticky as well. So this is very similar to a capsule hotel, but just that little bit extra with a slightly bigger bathroom. Tell me where I should go next in the comments. Tell me if you would stay here. Do give the video a thumbs up. It does help me out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.